there. My name is Amy and I am a kinder music educator in the great state of Kansas in the United States. And I thought that we could play some instruments together today. You know, you might have some instruments at home like shakers or sticks or maybe even a drum. And if you do, I would love for you to grab one of those. Maybe your favorite thing that you'd like to shake or tap or um, pat today. However, you might not have those things. So we could go on a scavenger hunt at home and especially in your kitchen, I bet you could find some fun things to turn into instruments. For example, instead of shakers, that's my salt and pepper shaker or even some keys. Instead of rhythm sticks to tap, how about some spoons? Or even some tongs. And instead of a drum, I'm sure you have a bowl. So, why don't you find something that you'd like to play along with today, and we can play together. I'm so excited. Here comes some music for us. Played it all the day. Never did he fiddle around. All he'd do was play. today. You know, encouraging the use of steady beat with our instruments is so beneficial in so many ways. Not only does it help us with music later on, but it also helps us do really practical things in life, like read aloud at a steady cadence, run with a steady gait, bounce a basketball, and even organize events within time periods. So I hope you incorporate lots of music into your day Look for some instruments around your house and see if you can find that steady beat. Have a great day. <laughs> 